Welcome to the tutorial of the Harlequin keychains. For this tutorial, I'm using a size 4 thread, a hook J10 or 6 millimeter, scissors and beads about 1 inch in diameter. With your yarn, make a slip knot, go around your two fingers, and pull the thread through. You can use your thumb or index finger, whatever makes it easier. Insert your hook. To control the tension on your yarn, depending on the tightness of your stitch, wrap the yarn around your index finger, depending on the tightness once or twice. To make a chain stitch, Pull the thread through the loop. This is your first one. For the next one, do the same thing. Pull the thread through the second, third. Make a total of 20, fourth, fifth, sixth. Pause the video whenever you need to. This is now a chain of 20 stitches. Make one additional chain stitch for the beginning of the next row. From the hook, skip one chain stitch and insert your hook in the back of the second chain stitch. Grab the yarn with your hook and pull it through one loop and pull the thread through two loops. This is your first crochet stitch. Insert your hook in the back loop again, pull the thread through, hook it in and pull the thread through the two. This is your second in the same chain stitch. Now for a third time, insert your hook again in the same loop, pull the thread through, pull the thread through the two. This completes the set of three ch chain stitches in one loop. Do the same in each chain stitch. Insert your hook, pull the thread through, take the thread and pull it through two loops. Insert in the same chain stitch loop, pull the thread through, and for a third one in the same loop, and pull the thread through. Continue three crochet stitches in each chain loop. After about three or four sets, you will realize that your pattern will spiral. Make sure you stay consistent and make three single crochets in each chain stitch. You will need two legs which are made with 21 chain stitches and two arms with 11 chain stitches. I will fast forward to the end of the spiral formation. Sometimes the chain stitches are a little tight. You'll just have to be persistent with it and the loop will get wider. For the end of the spiral you will make a slip stitch. You insert your hook in the last loop Grab the thread and the tail end and pull it through both loops right away. Cut your yarn and pull the rest of the yarn through. Now adjust the spiral in the direction you'd like. 
fold the strings a little to tighten them. For one harlequin, make two legs and two arms. Group an arm and a leg together on each side and hold the strings. Tie the two sides together with a knot. The tail ends are long enough to make a nice knot. Now make a loop with one side of the strings. Twist the strings to make it easier to insert it in the bead. Insert the twisted yarn in the bead into the bead hole. To make it easier, turn the bead as you move down the yarn. Once you can grab the yarn on the other side of the bead, pull it through. Make sure you can see the inside of the loops to insert the clip. Insert the clip through the loop hole and Pull the strings into the clip. Adjust the strings and tighten with a knot where you will cut off the ends to make it look like a um, butterfly. I hope you enjoyed the instructions and please leave a comment.